Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video, and it is time to take on the second of the new EX Challenge Quest stages using the Water Team, which I assume this is going to be geared towards Water 1.0, so this stage might nerf Blues. I don't really care, because we're going to use the Water 2.0 team anyways, at least to start off with, just for funsies, because it's still going to do big mommy damage. But let's take a look at the missions real quick. Uh, nine turns, 220 skill points in one turn, five alive, three attack changing skills, six combo of greens. All right, so there we go. It, you know, 220 points with Water 1.0 is, I wouldn't say it's not terribly difficult. You do have to work for it, though, because, you know, Chloe is changing to greens and, you know, buffing by 40 points every time, but, you know, they're... <laughs> Greens are not blues, which means you got to use Chloe quite a bit before you get to 220 skill points. So, does this boss nerf blues? Uh, it nerfs blue damage, which is totally fine, right? Because we don't have to do a lot of damage with normals. We just have to do a lot of damage with our ults. And we need to get points for the blues and gauge for the blues, which we're fine with. So, water 2.0, coming in hot. And then we'll do water 1.0. And then we'll do... I know, the dark team. That can use 220 skill points in one turn. That can also do a bunch of greens. I don't see why not. <laughs> I don't see why we couldn't use the dark team. What other team runs on greens? That can do 220 skill points. Cabby. You can use Cabby. Win 1.0 if you really, really wanted to. Uh, ooh. It's a rough hand right there. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty rough hand. Let's just get you out of here. Let's send these oranges, get them out of here. Okay, alright, that's... better? Question mark? Not really. Um, we'll send this. There we go. Alright, so next turn we can bring... Um, we can do this alt buff right here. And then we can get Valentine out, because it's turn 3 and we're done with her trait. And we'll bring that in, and then we'll use that. And we need to use, what, attack changing skills? Three of them? Is that what I is that what I remember? So we gotta use one, two, three. Oh, that's hard. That's difficult. Okay, he has, still hasn't nerfed blues, by the way. I don't know when he does that, but it's too late for him now. Oh, okay, Count cheeky counter. 45, 45, and 10? Almost 10. Alright, here comes the blue nerf, probably. Guard. Yeah, there's the blue nerf, right. Damage only, though. That's fine. Uh, Milum. And another Milum. What can we do here? We can... Do we have enough points to use what I want to? Yes, perfect. Alright, so let's get... Rimuru in for Shuna, and then we can use his Steel, and then his Green Change. I'll give us a full hand of Greens, or er, full hand of Blues, and then we'll get Val back in, I guess, for Rimuru to maintain his power of Orb Changing. So these Blues won't do too much damage. Probably. Yeah, not a lot of damage at all. But we're still getting Gage and we're still getting Points, which is the important part. So, we just need 220 skill points now. So... No, yeah, well, I mean, that works out. <laughs> that that works pretty well. Let's get a stack of Millum. Let's get a stack of Valentine. Is there... No, I don't know. Close, but no cigar. Alright, so we'll get Rimuru in for... Hinata... We'll use his steel again, and, uh, hmm, we don't have enough, so we'll just do Rimuru's orb change again, and then we'll get Shuna in here. Alright, so we're going backwards in skill point usage, technically, but it's fine. Want to get more Milim stacks. Plus, we're really not in danger of dying here. Yeah, 8,000 damage on Valentine, we can we can take that. 
All right, so we need more points. Let's see. Let's do, ooh, hold on. Yes, let's do, no. So we pull in Val, we're gonna take that blue. We're gonna take, pull in that other blue. So we're coming back where we started. Um, let's, How do we want to play this? Take you out for Val. We'll steal again and then orb change. Alright, that should be maximum points right there. Um, how much are they boosted by? 300%? I mean, we, we could. I think this will get us max points, though. Yeah, so we're fine. All right, we're ready to go. Turn seven. Blues are no longer nerfed, by the way. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty good hand right there. Oh, there's a blue nerf again. That's fine. All right, so you'll come in for Rimuru. We don't even need the third stack of Valentine, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, I'm pretty sure we're going to just wipe here. So, let's do alt boof. Let's do one mat, one attack change, two attack change, three attack change, and another 5% alt and crit resistance seal. And then we'll get two stacks of Millum. And then we'll be out of here. Ideally. Probably. Most likely. And one more. For good measure. Okay, so we alt, and then we send some of this, and then we're done. Hinata does 293k. Goodbye, Golem. All right, let's uh, let's try, let's try the 1.0 team and see how long that takes. It's not as a good of a team. So I realized that I have made a fatal mistake last time because I had 220 skill points. But I didn't actually use 220 skill points, so <laughs> my bad. We still need to do that mission, and we still need a whole hand of greens, which we're going to do here, because we've got Chloe, who changes all oranges to greens. Alice and Isis are going to be our blue orb changers. Valentine's here still for the permanent alt buff, and then Velzard is going to be our nuker alongside Raphael. Um, you know, we've got Pierce here, we've got Pierce power and attack buff, we've got the defense down and his, and their own Pierce power, so, I mean, this team, I technically should run fine, especially since we've got Isis and she's boosting greens, which means it'll get, it'll be easier to get Chloe back online after we use her, so, this shouldn't be difficult, it's just if you have Water 1.0, which if you don't have Water 1.0, again, just use the Dark Team. We'll use the Dark Team after this and just laugh. So this I'm just doing in case you don't have water 1.0, but water one or water 2.0. But water 1.0 is in the general pool now. Valentine is free to play. Isis is definitely free to play. And uh, it's an interesting hand that we got. So let's go ahead and get uh, let's get you. Let's get you and then we'll send these two oranges and then we'll worry about what we need to do next afterwards all right all right so we've got three blues three greens not enough skill points so we'll just do this again and then we've got chloe online so any oranges we can turn to next chain next change next turn all right so let's what do we have enough points for we have that and we don't have enough to use the boost, but that's fine. We will after we do this. So let's get Isis in here for Val. Let's use the orange. Let's use the orb change and the boost. And then we can get Alice in here. Sadly, no Velzard orbs, but we'll work on getting two alts at least. Because a triple alt with ideally a. Chloe gives 40% alt buff, and then if you can stack that with Valentine's 60%, you get 100% alt right there. Perm well, not permanent, but, you know, Chloe's alt buff lasts for like three turns, so it's not insignificant. 
Alright, so yeah, the green boost gets us max points, another Chloe next turn, which is good. Uh, does not reset skill costs, so that's why we have Alice here for the other blue orb changing in case things get out of hand. Uh, well, kind of like that. Again, we don't have any Velzard orbs, so let's go ahead and get Raphael out of here. We'll bring in uh, Valentine. We have enough points to start using her buff. Let's use Alice's buff. Uh, let's get Isis in for Velzard. That way we can swap them out. Let's get another stack of Chloe. So that's another 40 points. Another full hand. This will get Alice's ult, so good. Oh, it does not get us Chloe again. Unfortunate. Oh well. Um, hopefully we get a nice hand that we can swap Velzard in for. Hopefully. Eh. I mean, that, that's okay. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but... Alright. So... Does this get us... It does. Alright. So that'll get us another Alice ult, which is good. So let's go ahead and use the second boost from Valentine, get her healed up a little bit. We'll send this. Next turn, we'll have enough points and we'll have another Chloe gauge. We can bring Velzard in to hopefully get her ult. Uh, these won't do any damage. That's fine. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, that hurt a little bit. Okay, so let's get... Who costs more to use? Ooh. Yeah, okay. The greens are no longer double boosted, so we'll have to do that again. Uh, we'll have two orbs for Velzard that are boosted. So let's do that. Let's do that. Don't have enough. We have, we're one point off from using the second, or the third buff with Valentine, but that's fine. Um, this is probably more important. Yeah. So that and that. Now we can hold Alice's ult in the back. She's also at half health, so we need to get her out of here anyways. So there we go. Then we can use Chloe, change that last orange into green, and then do this. 126 points back, so we're at 190 now. Uh, this should be close to a Velzard ult, but it's not a full Velzard ult. And also, what skills are we going to have to use for the 220 skill points? That is also a question we have to ask. So, let's do that and that. That gets us alt, that gets us Chloe. Nine points right there. Hopefully, Isis doesn't die. But again, we've already cleared the mission for no one dying, so it doesn't really matter. It'd be unfortunate, but not... Okay, well, there we go. Unfortunate. Not game-changing, though. So... We need to use 220 skill points. So what can we do that makes 220 skill points? Calculator. Because math sucks. So we've got the 110 from both of the big buffs. Okay. We're halfway there. And then we've got 30 from the Frostbite and Velzard. And then we can use 65... For Valentine, that gets us at 205, and then another skill, and that'll be two, and that'll be 15. Okay, so we're we're actually ready to go. We just need to make sure that we can have 220 skill points. Uh, make sure that we have a Valentine orb next hand, preferably. All right, please don't die. On counters, there we go. We do. Jesus. Okay, so. Let's do that buff. Let's do... What do the orbs look like? Oh, actually, that, that actually works out pretty well. Alright, so let's do that. Let's No, let's not do that. Let's do this and this. Alright. This should be 220. Right on the dot. Should be. Alright, so let's do that, and then that, and then that. Alright, there we go. 220 skill points. Full hands of greens all over the place. We've got a 6 orb send. Here's the 40% alt buff from Chloe. Which means that we are at 100% alt. He has uh, defense down by 58.5. Water resistance by 39. This is all added up because of the frostbite. 
Otherwise, those would be flat. We've got guaranteed pierce. Raphael has pierce power. Yeah, by 30%. And then Velzard has her attack and pierce power by 15. So we should be out of here. Should being the key word, right? Velzard does 73. Okay. Raphael does 56. Okay, we're, we're out of here. And then 31. There we go. All right, so there's Water 1.0. 220 skill points, all greens. Uh, let's let's come back on the nuke turn for the dark team for funsies, just because you don't need to sit through it. But, you know, it can definitely do it. So we'll be right back. All right, dark team. Turn 8, 235 skill points. Full Veldora, who is stacked up. We need to use one more stack of Valentine to get that full 60%, so let's do that. Let's use the resistance down, that puts us at 195 points, which means that we have five extra points over what we need for most of the other big buffs. So let's take out Valentine here, and now we can use the alt, we can use the crit, we can use the dark, which leaves us at five points, which means we have used 230 now, so definitely done. And we have most definitely had six hands of greens this entire fight. So no need to worry about that. And now we're going to do like 400,000 damage with this thing. <laughs> let's uh, let's see how much we do. So I'll, uh, I'll send this and we'll wrap up. So that's it for me, guys. Uh, let me know what teams you use to take down these two new stages. Uh, obviously, you know, the dark team can clear both of them quite easily. Maybe not all the missions, but can definitely at least beat it. And Millen does uh, 312, so not quite 400,000. But still, it's enough to go bye-bye. So there we go. Next two stages are done. We're not slated to get another stage for a, f a few weeks, I believe. So this will be it. Um, so these are just extra free medals to use in that shop. But that's it for me, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you later.